hey my loves welcome back to another video so guys i'm trying to do something new and today we're going to be doing a fashion roast or rather a fashion police for the just concluded 2024 oscars so guys let's get right into the video three two one So guys just a quick disclaimer these are all my opinions what i think on your looks you can always feel free to drop yours in the comment section do not come for me babies do not come for me now let's get started Maybe you can find me under the lights. Under my the eyes. first on our list is zendaya and you guys know zendaya never misses on a red carpet she slays like she slays to the core and she didn't do anything different for this one she still slayed <laughs> she definitely did not miss she is putting on an armani dress she looks absolutely beautiful i love the dress the fit on her is amazing the color the color combo on the dress it is beautiful her hair makeup everything is giving typical zendaya we know what she does <laughs> she looks absolutely good i am going to give this look an 8 out of 10 because she looks beautiful so you guys we have gabriel union and her husband Dwayne union they came as a couple of course so i'm going to rate them as a couple exactly she is putting on a carolina herrera dress while he's putting on a versace suit custom versace to be precise i think they look really good the fit on her is amazing i love the silver against her skin tone it really makes like it brings this this pop you get she looks really really good so she looks really good she kept it easy with the hair with the makeup and let all the focus just be on the dress jewelry is also simple and the husband the man also looks really dashing in the suits baby he looks really good okay so as a couple, I'm going to give the both of them an 8 out of 10 because I'm raising them together too. And they both look really good, baby. Next on our list is Jamie Lee Curtis and she is wearing Dolce & Gabbana for her age. She looks beautiful. The dress is age appropriate. I think the stylist designers, I think they all did a good job. I'm going to give this look a 6 out of 10 next we have sandra holler i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly but that's by the way she is putting on a structural custom scaparelli dress and some cartier jewelry baby this dress okay she eats it eats the dress <laughs> she looks really good and this woman can give it to me but the hair the sleek um the sleek ponytail beautiful makeup light jewelry simple all the attention on the dress i live for this i love this look she looks very very pretty i'm going to give this look a 9 out of 10 because why not she looks good we have simi liu our sean shane <laughs> am i the only one that calls like actors by their names i think he looks quite simple but different he is wearing a black suit but he looks different he is putting on a black fendi tuxedo with a low low cut tank underneath i think he looks good the fit on him is amazing he bodied it well he looks good on him the shoe i like the shoe they're quite funny i'm going to give this look a 7 out of 10 because he does look good he didn't go with the regular black tux white inside tie he went with something a bit different and i think it looks good on him so i'm going to give this look a 7 out of 10. now we have vanessa hudgens she is wearing a vera wong dress and a good thing or a plus is she revealed to us that she was pregnant on the red carpet she looks um, really good in this outfit and for a pregnant lady baby she bodied it she ate it eats everything she bodied this outfit i can't, i have to stop saying it but she bodied this outfit with the baby bump everything it looks really good on her it's so nice i'm going to give this look an 8 out of 10 because it does look really good on her i'm so happy to have congratulations to her wish her a safe delivery next we have coleman domingo and he is putting on a black louis vuitton suit i think it's not bad i think it's good it's nice it looks different the pants with the blade down it looks quite different but the 
the suit top looks really nice to be honest um he looks good i'm going to give this look a 7 out of 10 he does look really good actually next we have billy eilish and it is just billy being billy she's putting on a chanel outfit tweed she ate with it she ate with the bag i like the bag <laughs> i really like the bag but i think this is just billy being billy nothing different from her she always wants to be spontaneous adventurous i don't know it's just her being her i'm going to give this look a six out of ten not my favorite of course but i really love that bag Haley stainfield she looks like a dream in this elisa Couture dress i think she really looks good the fit on her is amazing the way the dress just holds her hair beautiful she looks like a dream did i mention that she looks like a goddess she looks really nice the hair the makeup everything i think she looks really good i'm going to give this look a 7 out of 10 she looks really good i feel like people be like but you're saying she looks really good you guys mind you it's just my opinion don't come for me put your own opinion in the comment section so don't come for me babe next this is one of my favorite look for the night anya taylor joy she's putting on Kristen dior she looks beautiful not <laughs> She looks beautiful i'm going to give this look a 9 out of 10 the fit of this dress on her body lovely the hair the makeup everything she looks oh she looks like a dream she looks so good like i really love this outfit i'm giving this dress a 9 out of 10 she looks really good everything looks so good on her next we have cynthia arrivo beautiful bald lady do you know i envy ladies that can rock a bald look like a bald head i envy ladies like that like i could never i would look like a man and you know i don't put on jewelry so it's not just going to work out for me so i envy ladies that can rock it because i have thought of cutting my hair before but i know it's not going to work out for me she is putting on an emerald green leather dress by louis vuitton the look on her or the fit on her rather is amazing it really looks good on her body the little cleavage it is nice the fit on her body color against her skin tone it goes well the jewelry everything seems she seems to be giving having this emerald green dream you get because her nails are emerald green and silver her jewelry emerald green and silver then the dress emerald green. she looks really good i'm going to give this look a seven out of ten now we have emily blunt and her husband john they both look really good she's putting on scarparelli and he's putting on an off-white tuxedo the they complement each other i think they did the whole to match thingy because they're both wearing the same color she looks simple nothing serious he looks amazing i'm going to rate them as a couple i am giving them a six out of ten for this look next we have lupita nyongo and you know lupita never fails baby she slays she slays 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 she looks really good she's putting on an armani privy dress with feather like embellishment on the waist and the hem the color against her skin tone is nice she has a darker skin tone so skin tone sorry so people you know you have to be like okay careful don't put something that's gonna make her look crazy and like jigger so i think this really goes well with her skin tone the fit on her is amazing i have never seen lupita miss i have never ever seen her miss on the red carpet the makeup simple the hair simple everything just looks so good baby i'm giving her a nine out of ten for this look she ate her stylist they did a good job the designer they all did something good nine out of nine out of ten for this look. now we have jennifer lawrence and she's putting on a retro polka dot custom look by kristen dior she does look good the hair is nice the makeup is also good simple with the jewelry the dress is also nice looks decent looks elegant so i think my main issue is the polka dot i'm personally not the biggest fan of polka dot but i can't deny the fact that it actually looks really good on her she looks really decent she looks elegant she's giving she's giving class she's breathing and giving us elegance and she's like <laughs> i think she looks so good but not the biggest fan of polka dot so i'm going to give this look a 7 out of 10 but she does look good next we have emma stone she was a winner at the oscars congratulations to her she's putting on a custom louis vuitton dress with a flat pop and um, peplum waist and shell detailing you guys 
I love this dress. When I first saw it, I was like, for some reasons, I love this dress and I want this dress. <laughs> I mean, I can't get the Louis Vuitton, but I know my tailor can my tailor can deliver a beat. Y'all don't come for me for that TikTok video, but my tailor can deliver a beat, you guys. But I really like this dress. I think it looks good on her. Though it looks a bit big though, but I think she had a bit of wardrobe malfunction at the beginning. Something happened to her zip and all, but regardless, it looks good on her. I'm going to give this look a 7 out of 10 just because she looks good and she was a winner that night. So congratulations to her. We have Ryan Gosling, the Barbie star, looks lovely in this Gucci suit lined with silver sequins. I love it. 8 out of 10. He looks really good. The silver, the silver sequins, the lining looks really good. Like, I think it just without it, it would have just been a basic black suit so i love it love it i'm giving this look an eight out of ten i love 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 and then the pink outfit he wore to perform chef's kiss baby when i saw i'm like is it because it's pink i don't know if it's because i don't know if it's because it's pink but i really love that look i was like this is a dream baby the pink the glitters everything it looked so lovely eight out of ten for everything Next we have Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh, ever since I said noticing her on the red carpet, I think she has been eating all her looks. Like she has been slaying, slaying, slaying. She looks really good. She's putting on a silver decor dress with floating straps. I love it. Fit, the fit on her is amazing. It looks really good on her. The jewelry is also nice. Everything goes well. I think my only issue is the shoe though. I don't really get what's going on with the shoe, to be honest. But... I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10 for this look. She actually does look really good. Congratulations to you, baby. You look good. Now we have Melissa McCarthy and baby. I don't know what they were trying to aim with this look. Like, what's the vision? I'm not really seeing it. I guess it's old Hollywood glamour, but... I'm not really saying it baby I don't know I don't really like I don't really care for the combo the red and pink I don't just think it's doing what it's supposed to do to be honest in my opinion I feel like if they had just taken out the pink and just left it to be red even if she would be matching with the carpet but if they had just left it to be red I don't know i feel like it would have maybe red and silver yeah red and silver, something they would have just done something else but this red and the whole pink magenta sleeves and all to me it's not working out i love the hair though it does give up the old hollywood glam but i'm going to give this look a four out of ten not really my favorite for tonight next we have riz armor and he is putting on a black ensemble by marnie I don't know i i love the coats though to be honest i love those coats for some reasons the shoes are quite funny <laughs> the shoes are quite funny it does fit him perfectly i'm going to give this look a seven no a six out of ten I, no a five <laughs> i'm going to give this look a five out of ten i really don't know what to think of it but it actually does look good but i can't really i don't know my head is not placing in the right places I don't know <laughs> but i'm going to give this brand day i can't remember the last time i saw her but she looks cute i think this look is quite playful it is baby pink she's putting on gambatista for the night and with the whole pillowy hand and all always it seems quite playful but not my favorite look regardless but i love the fact that it is pink i'm going to give this look a five out of ten Next we have Margot Robbie, baby, she ate, <laughs> she did her thing, I think she was taking a break from Barbie, she's like, you guys tonight we're not doing the whole Barbie thing, right, no pink, no Barbie, no, nah, she came in black, she is putting on a black Versace dress and you guys, she looks stunning, she looks like a dream, literally, I love this dress, the fit on her is amazing, it's black, she's light skin, it looks really good or rather she's right my bad the hair she kept it simple with the hair the makeup simple jewelry simple all the focus should just be on the dress and baby you did your thing i really like this dress and i'm going to give this dress a nine out of ten because i don't know i just really like this dress she did her thing with this dress it looks really good and also what she wore for the vanity fair oscar party i think it's really nice she did her thing it looks really good i love this dress 
I don't think it's just the dress. I think it's how it looks on how completely you get like how it looks completely like hair, makeup, everything. She looks really good. Nine out of ten for this look. Moving on. So next is Cillian Murphy. The Oppenheimer cast is putting on a custom Italian Versace suit. And he looks nice basic black suits quite basic he was a winner that night so congratulations to him but i'm giving this look a six out of ten not saying really dear to see to be honest it's quite basic but he does look good next is Lyburn cox i don't think i've ever learned how to pronounce her name properly but she is putting on terry mugler i feel like personally i can spot mugler outfits anywhere <laughs> But I love this dress. She looks like a goddess. She looks like a dream. Everything looks so good on her. I'm giving this look an 8 out of 10. She looks beautiful. She looks so good. Next, we have Dwayne Johnson. I like it. I don't like it. At the same time, like, it's clashing. Do you get but it's it, not my favorite i lo i like it but at the same time i don't like it like something is missing somewhere like there's a there's a problem somewhere i don't know i'm just going to give his look a five out of ten but the fit on him is really really good last but not the least bad bunny baby i'm so sorry but nine out of ten he looks he looks dapper he looks good i can't help it he just he looks so good he bodies everything. 9 out of 10. I can't help it. I, I just can't help it. 9 out of 10. Cheers to him. So you guys, we have come to the end of this video. It is time to give my best dressed and worst dress. For the best dressed male, bad bunny. Come for me. <laughs> I don't care. He looks so good. Like, he's my best dress. Cheers to him. Now for the female session, my worst dressed female, not necessarily worst, but least favorite is Melissa McCarthy because I don't really see where they were going with this look. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. And my best dress just has to be Anya Taylor-Joy, baby. Anya Joy Taylor. It just has to be her. She looked like a dream. She looked like a doll. She looked unreal. She looked so beautiful. So she is my best dress for the night. Congratulations to her. So guys, thank you for watching this video. This is my first time trying out this type of content on my channel. Feel free to tell me how to improve. And as I said earlier on in this video, these are just my opinions. Always feel free to put your opinions down in the comment section. Who is your best dress and your worst dress? Tell me what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.